Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today we're going to be talking about ashes in your firebox. All right, so what we're going to do with these ashes today is we're going to measure their pH. Now, I've heard over and over and over again from newbie smokers to barbecue pit masters that ashes are really acidic and they will cause your firebox to rust through. Now, I don't think they're acidic at all. My guess is that they're going to be basic because they use wood ashes to make lye, which goes into making things like soap or really basic things. So on the scale of how basic or acidic something is, seven is perfectly neutral and a pH of say one or two or anything below seven is acidic and a pH above seven is basic. So what we're going to do is I have some distilled water here. We're going to just test with the pH meter I brought. It's a wireless pH meter that's connected to my phone. We're going to test the pH of this water to make sure everything's calibrated correctly. It should be really close to seven. It could be you know, 6.95 or it could be 7.05 or something like that, but it should be really close to seven. Then I'm going to get some ashes from the firebox and then I'm going to put them in this beaker with some distilled water, mix them around and take the pH. Regardless of what the experiment shows, it is important that you take the ashes out of the firebox because basic or acidic, it can contribute to rust in your firebox, which is something you definitely want to avoid, even if you got thick metal, because eventually, after enough time has passed, that metal can rust through. So let's start with taking the pH of just pure water. So I'm gonna take this water, put some of it in here. Uh -huh, just enough to make sure it covers the probe and we get a good reading. Let's give it a little bit more. That's good, about 100 milliliters of water there. Now, I'm gonna take this probe, turn it on, and connect it to the wireless pH meter app on my phone. Okay, so I've gotten the pH probe connected to the phone right here. So the storage solution that we keep the electrode in has a pH right now of about 4.12, is what it's reading, last time I saw it there. Uh, and so that's a little bit acidic. Uh, and we store it in this solution so that the electrode doesn't get messed up. So now, we're gonna test the pH of this water because this is just a wash bottle, so it's not distilled water in here. Um, so I have no guarantee that the pH is gonna be exactly seven. It could be, it's gonna be close, but it's not gonna be probably exactly seven. So we're gonna test that so we can get a good comparison uh, before we add ashes and after. So let me take this probe out. Okay, rinse off the solution. All right, and let's test this pH. All right, so we have the uh, probe in our water here and we got a pH of 6.14 is what it's reading. And it's gonna maybe vary just a little bit, but 6.14, which means it's a little bit acidic. So after we add the ashes, we can compare it to the 6.14 that it was. So let's go get some ashes, put them in here, mix them around and give it a shot. Okay, so I got some ashes from the firebox here and this paper towel. I'm gonna dump them in there if I can, near the water. Get in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, now I'm just gonna take this glass stirring rod and mix it all together. So I get some of the stuff dissolved. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be Basic. It's going to have some alkali metals in there, like potassium. And we get the name actually for potassium from pot ash. And potassium is found in a lot of basic stuff. Anyway, the point is we're going to test this pH. So right now, fresh out of the storage solution, the probe is reading 4.18 as the pH. And so let's see what happens when we dunk it into the solution. Okay, so we just mixed it together. Now it's reading a pH of 9 point, over 10. 10.1, 10 10.2, 10.3, 10.31, 10.3. All right, now it stopped changing. So what that means is that this is a basic solution, which means these ashes, not acidic, they're basic. So rather than being, say, corrosive, it would be caustic. Now, the way the pH scale works is that each number on the pH scale 
is 10 times stronger or weaker than the previous number. So if I'm talking about how strong a base is, okay, if something has a pH of 14, it's 10 times stronger than something with a pH of 13, right? And it's 100 times stronger than something with a pH of 12. So basically what that means is that a pH of 10 is not 10 times stronger or 100 times stronger, but 1,000 times more basic than something that is completely neutral, a pH of 7. So a pH of 10 is seriously basic. Now, you can obviously put your hand in here. It's not going to you know, burn your hand off or anything like that. It's not going to be anything crazy. But over a long period of time, interacting with the surface of the metal, it can contribute to rust. And the electrochemical process that takes place uh, can be prevented if you keep your firebox dry and you remove the ashes, or at least it can be slowed uh, significantly. So that was our experiment for today. Find out a little bit about uh, ashes in your firebox and why you should remove them. And we kind of busted maybe a myth, I think it's a myth, uh, about firebox ashes being very acidic. Thank you for watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment that we did today and I hope it's helpful to you. If it did help you and you did enjoy it, please like the video down below. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mad Scientist Barbecue. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. Let's try it again. <laughs> at Mad Scientist Barbecue on Twitter. Is it at on Twitter?